not afraid to take on the trucking companies and get you every dollar you deserve. And I'm telling you, when it comes to big truck cases, I'm not afraid to take them on. I'm attorney Ken Nugent. If you've been hurt by a big truck, let me fight for you. One call, that's all. If you've been hurt by a big truck, come out on top. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Ken wins. And we're back on this Tuesday. I'm talking with Misty Willis, who is a family nurse practitioner, board certified, uh, bariatric program coordinator, as well as Ashley uh, Patterson, who is registered and licensed uh, dietitian, clinical and outpatient nutritional services. Of course, we are talking about the Phoebe Bariatrics Americas uh, program. Good to see both of you, and thanks for being here. Thank you. Talk a little bit, Misty, if you will, about your role and give us an overview of the program. Okay, well, with our program, um, our program started last summer. We had our first seminar in June and performed our first surgery in December. Um, within the program, I am the bariatric program coordinator, so I kind of navigate the patient process from the start of the seminar until the OR table and then in the post-operative process. I work hand-in-hand -hand with the surgeons, um, directing the patient's process, mm -hmm. directing their next steps within the program, and then I also work with the insurance companies getting patient approvals and submitting documents for, for those approvals. All right, and so after the survey, of course, you, you need to do some things, I guess, on your own, and that includes watching that diet. So talk about your role and how you sort of steer uh, patients through. Yes, yes, definitely afterward, more on the diet as well as before. Um, I work very closely with the patient. Um, I educate them on different things as far as because there are pre-op diets we do as well as different post-op things. Oh, wow, okay. um, you know, as far as meeting their protein needs, hydration needs are very important. Um, their vitamin and mineral supplementation, um, and a big part of it too as well is I really like to focus on something we call intuitive eating because um, basically, you know, our eating habits they didn't develop overnight. They're not going to change overnight. So we spend a lot of time talking about that and working on goals to get that done. Okay. Um, and I see patients in individually as well as we do classes um, to get a well-rounded education experience. And, and this, is, this is a life change. Definitely, definitely. Okay. It's a lifestyle change. All right. So you, you offer different types of surgeries uh, through your center, so right. if you will share those. Yes. At the time, we do offer two different procedures. Um, both of them are laparoscopic procedures, meaning they are done minimally invasive with just a few incisions. There's no long open scar. The first one is the laparoscopic adjustable band, also known as lap band. And that's the most commonly used term. Mm -hmm. um, that is a restrictive de device that's placed around the top of the stomach that restricts the amount of food a patient can take in at one given time. The second procedure is the sleeve gastrectomy. The sleeve gastrectomy, although it is a little bit more invasive, it's still a laparoscopic procedure in that it is minimally invasive, um, just a few incisions. But we do go in and cut out 85% of the stomach. Therefore, it is also a restrictive procedure, meaning that a person can take in less food at one, at one time. And, and as you were talking, I believe we've got a picture of a before and mm -hmm. after. So if you will talk a little bit about, I guess, the, the body weight that, that you can expect to lose. Right, right. This is our first patient, um, and she is actually down 105 pounds, um, which translates to she has lost 70% already um, of her excess body weight. Um, and so with that, you know, the average that they can expect to lose um, of their excess body weight, somewhere around 50%. All right, um, and, and then you need support. You know, right. this, like you said, this is a lifestyle change. So when you, when you have a procedure like that and, you know, you have to get used to the new you, right. other people have to get used to the new right. you. So, so there may be some, some I guess, uh, what, psychological changes? Right. All of our patients do go through a psychological counseling session um, with a psychologist to make sure they're mentally prepared for the lifestyle change that they're going to um, take on basically um, and then of course we are here our, we've built a comprehensive program so the surgeons and myself and Ashley are here every step of the way to work the patients through all of the changes it's a learning process as far as how to eat what to eat when to eat it and we make sure the patients are pre prepared for that if there is somebody who's interested in the surgery but they just want to just you know get a little bit of information right. before they make that decision you have right. uh, we have monthly workshops. seminars yes we have monthly seminars we all alternate where we have them. We do. We have one here in Albany actually this week. It's Thursday night at 6.30 at Phoebe Northwest in the conference rooms um, on Dawson Road. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com slash 
Phoebe Bariatrics. Okay. And then we also have a website, um, PhoebePutney.com backslash Bariatrics America. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing thank with you us for today. Us. And we'll have to have you back. Yes. Okay. Well, stay with us, everybody. We've got more for you after the break.